Special guest on the live line right now, our basketball analyst, Tony White. Want to talk about men's hoops, Chris Holtman squad. But, uh, my friend, you had a pretty good weekend, didn't you? <laughs> One day, two championships, Joel. You got to love that, right? <laughs> so, the boy, how much, how much? Uh, in case you don't know, uh, Tony's son, uh, Donovan, plays for uh, Miami of Ohio, and they're, uh, they're the MAC champs. How much field time did the boy get? He got some decent field time, and it was, uh, and he was out there, especially on field goals, when the, the winning field goal essentially put him over the edge on two possessions right. in the last few minutes. So he was hopping around out there like it was. Uh, he just won the Super Bowl. Yeah, you and Mama pretty proud on that. And then you went to Indy and watched the football team play, huh? I tell you what, it was it was a little ugly to start, but <laughs> hey, we finally pulled that puppy out in the, in the second, third quarter. Right? Yeah. So now uh, we turn our attention to your real bailiwick, which is men's hoops. Chris Holtman, number three in the nation. Did you see this coming? Uh, you know, I didn't, Joel. I'll be honest. I did not see Ohio State this good. I, you know, I thought that they were talented. I thought that they had a good core of upperclassmen. Um, but I was wondering whether these freshmen were going to fit in. I was wondering if these young guys, Luther Muhammad, Dwayne Washington, were going to take a step forward. Guess what? I think we've checked every box yes so far uh, in this young season. What is the biggest reason, uh, Tony, that in your mind, the biggest question mark you had that so far has been answered that is why they're all of a sudden number three in the country? Well, first, I think they have talent. I mean, that's where it starts. Uh, Second, their perimeter play has been excellent, especially shooting the basketball. I mean, they destroyed Penn State from the perimeter. And, you know, this is a team that, you know, I've said, look, somebody's got to step up besides Caleb Wesson. Somebody's got to step up and make perimeter jump shots and make big plays when Ohio State needs big plays to be made. You know, right now, it's not somebody, it's everybody. Everybody is making shots from the perimeter. It's, it's uh, you know, one guy makes a shot, another guy makes a shot. These guys seem to be feeding on each other, and just kind of the momentum picks up, and they just take off, and a lot of guys are making a lot of plays from the perimeter. And I just I didn't see that happening, and I still think Ohio State's going to have to develop a guy who's a go-to guy on the perimeter. But right now, they don't need that because just about everybody's making shots when they need to make shots. One of the candidates, I would have to say, is Dwayne Washington. You know, by necessity, when in the opener uh, – Andre Wesson got the eye socket injury against Cincinnati. Dwayne Washington got put in the starting lineup, and he seems to be a guy, Tony, that like most games, he gets them off to a good start. Like yeah. he's a, a hot starter. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you seeing in him? And is he has that worked out where now Andre's coming off of the bench and you don't mess with this now with him in the starting lineup? Well, first you had to give Andre Weston credit for being a senior and saying, look, I'll come off the bench if I need to. That's If that's what's best for the team, that's what I'll do. But Dwayne Washington has given this team an element of that, of that instant scoring. He, look, I mean, sometimes the guy comes down and you shake your head like, what do you yes. just do and why do you just do it? Uh, but right <laughs> now, he's minimizing those plays and he's maximizing his jump shot. I mean, he, this is a kid who has no fear of taking a shot at any moment, at any time, any possession, any reason. And, when, and right now he's making them. Now, can he consistently make those shots? I hope so, because for Ohio State's sake, he needs to consistently make those shots, because I don't think there's an off button for this kid. Yeah, it's interesting to me, Tony, too. I mean, like Matt and I talked earlier in the week, Penn State kind of seemed to have our number for a while. And then, you know, you got a relatively new coach in Chris Holtman, and I, it seems like sometimes you almost got to kind of turn that page to get the guys thinking about different teams differently, and that seems to be helping, too. Yeah, I think, you know, Chris Holtman has found a way to press the right buttons with these kids, and they're a young, this is a young team, I mean a young team, and so they need Chris Holtman to be active and really help them guide their way through the season. You know, right now, right now, it's hard to say that Ohio State is not the best team in the country, and I'm, I'm almost shocked that I'm, to hear myself say that. I mean, right now, they are, they are playing as well as anybody in the nation, and you wonder is this something that can continue? Because if this team keeps getting better, and Matt, we've talked about this, teams don't win national championships in December, they win them in March. And, but the question is, can they get better between now and then? And if this team gets better from what we're seeing so far, good grief. I mean, March could be a special month. Yeah, so far this uh, college basketball season, six top 25 teams have been beaten by 25 or more points. Mm. Three of those six have been Ohio State delivering the the blowouts. Boom. And, and, so and Ohio, yeah, I, and Ohio State has the number one point differential in the nation, plus twenty six 
in, of anybody else in the country. They are blowing people out at a bigger pace. And, and a few of those games are not cupcake games. I mean, they are, they are blowing out top ten teams. They're blowing out big ten teams at a pace that nobody around the nation is doing. Tony, real quick, defense, that seems to be the calling card right now because no one can shoot well against Ohio State. At first you thought, well, Villanova didn't shoot very well, but it's happening every game. What are they doing defensively? Well, their effort right now, I mean, their defensive effort is excellent, and that's one of the great things about having nine guys who can play. Because if one guy goes out there and he's not playing defense that night, well, guess what? Somebody else is going to come off the bench and go out there and get it done. So this team right now, their calling card is defense, and they're making a ton of shots. That's going to help them because when they stop making shots, and it happens every team, when they stop making shots, that defense should carry the day anyway. Bring on the D. It's what it's about. Tony, great stuff. Thanks for the time this morning. Basketball analyst Tony White on News Radio 610 WTV.